years ago, I would have gotten up there quicker. So. <laughs> a little windy. Um, you know, we got some baseball fans out there. Uh, I'm going to ask a trivia question. Can anybody name two former Major League Baseball players that grew left and didn't hit <coughs> position players, not pitchers? Can anybody do that? Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson. All right. Guess who he is? That's Jeff Abistad. <laughs> okay, Ricky Henderson is one. Jeff Abbott's the other. I don't know of any others. Maybe there are. But I always thought that was interesting. Uh, back in, uh, I guess it was the summer of 90, I think that's when it was, uh, one of my assistant coaches came into my office and said, hey, I was over Lafayette High School uh, looking at, you know, watching a tournament, and I saw a, a young player that's pretty good. I want you to go over and watch him play. So I went over there, and uh, I saw this 5'11", 165-pound kid. I mean, he, he, he looked like he was 14 years old. But really, I think he was 17. And he, he could really swing. He could swing at that. And so, uh, I mean, this is, uh, I think, in July after, after his senior year. So it's late, late in the process. And I know, uh, Dennis, you, you can probably relate to this. Uh, Coaches work really hard in recruiting. They work really hard. I mean, I, I remember uh, staying up till midnight so that I could call recruits on the West Coast. You know, people don't think about things like that, but sometimes you get long days. Sometimes coaches get lucky in recruiting. With Jeff, Jeff Abbott, I got really lucky uh, because he his team from Atlanta just happened to be playing in Lexington. One of my assistant coaches just happened to be watching that tournament and. Uh, you know, nowadays guys are making commitments after their freshman and sophomore year. And I've got a guy right here in town playing that uh, he's already graduated from high school and he doesn't know where he's going to play baseball yet. So that worked out really good for Kentucky, I'll say that. Um, obviously, Jeff didn't stay 5'11", 165 pounds. He's one of those late bloomers. When he left Kentucky, he was 6'2", 205 pounds with great power. Uh, just, a, just an outstanding player. Uh, Jeff had a great career, no question about that. But 1994, he had one of the greatest seasons that any baseball player has ever had in Southeastern Conference. Just phenomenal. It was so much fun just to be in a dugout to watch him play. Just an incredible year. Um, you know, 23 home runs, uh, 445 batting average. You just don't see those numbers very often. Um, I remember he, he was seeing the ball so well, hitting it so well that year. We were at Western Kentucky playing a midweek game, and uh, he and I got to spend a couple hours together yesterday. And he did. He doesn't even remember this, but he hit a home run, a double, and a single in that game. So he comes up to me in the dugout, and his fourth at bat, he says, "Coach, you've been in this ballpark a lot more times than I have. Tell me what I have to do to hit a triple to hit for the cycle." <laughs> And I said, well, in most ballparks, you know, you, you, you hit the ball to right field and, and you run hard as you can. But I said, in this ballpark, you want to hit the ball to left center field, and then you run as fast as you can. And so sure enough, he gets his pitch and he crushes the ball to left center field, slides in third base, and hits for the cycle. I mean, that's just the kind of hitter he was. I didn't get to coach many of those. Um, that particular year, our team broke the Southeastern Conference record for home runs. Uh, we led the nation in home runs that year. Our, Teams normally were known as teams with great pitching. But unfortunately, during Jeff's career, we had great hitters, and the pitching was just sort of average. Uh, but uh, otherwise, we could make a lot more points. Uh, you're not supposed to be laughing. It's pretty weird. <laughs> well, Brian Reed, he was one of the best. <laughs> Other than that. Uh, but, uh, you know, Great baseball player. We've heard a lot of people talk about not only a great person or a great player, but a great person. And uh, as as Jeff and I were watching Coach Henderson's team practice yesterday at Cliff Hagen Stadium, uh, we were talking. I could tell Jeff was excited about uh, what was going on tonight. Uh, he was excited about being inducted into the University of Kentucky Athletics Hall of Fame. He was excited about his family being here, but he was most excited about his nephews getting to see where he uh, played college baseball. And they're kind of Georgia fans, I think, but uh, now he's, uh, I think Jeff was pretty proud to show off the Kentucky Wildcats. Uh, the greatest hitter in the history.
history of UK baseball, Jeff Adams.